Hi guys, thanks for purchasing the Aerocore hot swap engine from us. I'm just going to run you quickly through the process here. This will be the same as for a dust entry, an AQS1 or an AQM65. It's pretty simple to do in the field or in your lab. Let's get started. We recommend you turn the power off during this replacement. So the first step is to undo the three grub screws which are retaining the heated inlet. And then the next step is to carefully unplug the white plug which is keeping the heated inlet and then gently remove the inlet. So the next step, there's two plugs which need to be removed from the engine. The first one is the power plug at the back and the second one is the communications cable at the front. And then you need to uh, unscrew the gas connections at the front of the pump module. There are three retaining screws which need to be removed with a Phillips head screwdriver. Finally, you can gently remove the engine from the enclosure. So you will have received your hot swap engine um, in the courier mail. Now it's just a case of doing that process in reverse. So once you've reinstalled the engine using the three retaining screws, you have the two plugs that need to be put back and the connections to the pump module. Remember to plug back in the heated inlet. And don't forget when you've done all the work to turn the monitor back on again. So after you've changed the engine, it's really important to make sure that you've got clean filters, whether it's the particle engine or the particle profiler. It's really important that these filters are clean. The next step is to set the flow rate appropriate for your engine. You'll be using the flow meter for this. The appropriate flow rate is given to you on the door sticker. So you can see how easy that was. The final thing to remember to do is to include the fresh new calibration certificate in your customer's logbook. Thanks a lot, guys.